Hi guys, it's me, Dimension Battles, and I have a future card update video. So I wanted to just talk about future cards. I had this video idea in mind for a while, and I'm just going to show it right now. So you guys, just to double check, just <laughs> I made a video already about how future cards work, but I'll just show them again really quickly. So how future cards work is if you have, a, you can tell it's a future card because it says future in front of the name, and it's also blue in where the stage is, colored in with a blue color pencil. So a future card can only be summoned by playing on top of the normal one. You know that you can tell the normal one by just covering up the word future. So this one goes on top of Mechanical Laser Soldier. So in order to summon them, you pay a token to some Mechanical Laser Soldier, but you can p play them for free, but it can only be on top of the previous form. And this one's the new one because it basically is evolving. Some of them get weaker. Well, actually, none of them really get weaker for stats, but some of the, like the picture or the drawing, I guess, gets weaker for some of them. But other than that, usually they get stronger. Oh, what is this? There's like a... Oh, glue dots. Oh, I know. This is one of my one of my older cards. I know exactly what this is. This is from one of my booster packs. It's glue. Anyways, <laughs> I got distracted there. Speaking of getting distracted, you know what arrived today? I know this is so random interruption, but I got this Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's, like, Rush Duel booster. This booster isn't sponsored. I just thought it was so cool. I got this booster box from Korea because they don't make the cards in English, but I was just so happy. It was, like, two-day delivery, so I was amazing. <laughs> they made the Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's the new season in English, and it is incredible because I've seen some of them in Japanese already, so I was pretty hyped. Anyways, back to what I was saying. So I have new future cards, which I'm going to show. I have, I'm, I'm not really like new future cards, but it's like old future cards. So I was making future cards. I had this idea for a while, but I wanted to wait until set nine. I wanted to wait until much later to show the future cards. So now is the right time. So I'm going to be showing future lightning warrior. So uh, this is from, this is a card from an older set. I want to say set six. Comment down below what set. Oh, I'll make a competition. That'll be fun. Comment down below what set you think this card's from, and I'll pin the comment that has it right. Oh, I don't even know what set it's from. Okay, comment down below what set you think Future Lightning Warrior's from, and the video would prove. Or tell me, like, what video of mine showed it, so I know for sure what set it is. And I'll pin the first one. <laughs> I'll pin the first one to do that, in a little competition. Anyways, Future Lightning Warrior, there's stage 3, 300 power, and 200 defense, and you can summon this card for free by discarding a light-type card you control. So this was the basic idea for future cards, because I was like, yeah, it'll evolve into the future. But this is before I thought of playing it directly on top, and I thought of, like, discarding a previous one. So, yeah, this was just, like, the earliest example of future cards. Just prototype future cards, I think, is pretty nice. So then after that, there was even another prototype future card. I mean, both of them were light types, funny enough. We have released King Sun and combined contained King Sun. So... This was another card that I made with future cards in mind. So, Contain King Sun's effect says, when this card destroys a creature, it gains 100 defense, the classic light type. But Release King Sun says, you can summon this card for free from your hand or discard pile when a Contain King Sun leaves your field. So, these are both ideas like future cards, like Contain King Sun leaves, and then Release King Sun comes forth, which his effect activates, which is a pretty good stage 3 effect. Actually, I have a lot of Release King Suns on my booster pack, but I didn't get Contain King Sun, so yeah. I, if you haven't seen it yet, me and my friend Dash made a battle video where we made decks and battled each other there'll be more battle videos in the future with them so yeah make sure to subscribe if you want to see any of those anyway so these are just the basic cards that started almost like the history of dimension battles that led up to the new and improved future cards which i think is pretty fun so anyways i just thought i would show this video because i thought it was pretty fascinating and if you didn't end up enjoying this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe bye guys